If the official photos are anything to go by, Emmanuel Macron's three-day trip to Brazil has been more romantic getaway than international diplomacy. Macron's trip to Brazil left him swooning, according to social media. In one photo released on 78-year-old Brazilian President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva's social media channels, the two beaming heads of state can be seen clasping hands on a boat while gazing out at the Guama River. In another, they appear to be blithely skipping under the Amazon canopy, there were hugs and handshakes aplenty, smiles and selfies, too. Lula on Thursday bestowed the highest honor for a non-citizen on Macron, draping a medal around his neck. Brazilian social media gobbled up the bonhomie with gusto, and users posted photos of the duo that many said looked more like a wedding album than a state visit. On the last evening of his trip, Macron joined in, Associated Press informs. Some people compared the images of my visit to Brazil with those of a wedding, and I say to them, it was a wedding, he posted on X along with a photo of himself and Lula photoshopped onto the movie poster from La La Land in place of Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. France loves Brazil and Brazil loves France. Lula replied to his post with the flags of their two nations and an emoji of swirling hearts. German historians wrote a letter to Scholz about mistakes in relations with Putin. German historians wrote a letter to Chancellor Olaf Scholz about mistakes in relations with Putin. Build tabloid got the collective appeal. It was signed by scientists who, like Olaf Scholz himself, are members of the Social Democratic Party of Germany. Heinrich August Winkler, Martina Winkler, Dirk Schumann, Gabriel Lingelbach and Jan K. Behrens are among them. Their main thesis are, we are watching with growing concern the positioning of the Social Democratic Party regarding Russia's aggressive war against Ukraine, historians write. Arguments and justifications are increasingly arbitrary, erratic and often factually incorrect. Coordination with allies is insufficient in Germany, Putin will regard this only as a call to action. Scientists consider it useless to explain what Germany definitely will not do regarding supporting Ukraine. When Chancellor and party leaders draw red lines not for Russia but only for German politics, they significantly weaken German security policy and play into Russia's hands. Historians believe that the Social Democratic Party is prone to extremely dangerous denial of reality. Putin will end the war only if he is confronted with sufficient force. The Social Democratic Party has not yet understood this, the authors believe. Inside the Social Democratic Party, there is no honest analysis of the mistakes of Russian policy in recent decades. They write, pointing to the lack of investigation of the links of various comrades with Russian interests and erroneous energy policy, which led Germany to fatal dependence on Moscow. Recall, after stalling for months, Scholz rejected Ukraine's request for Germany's long-range Taurus missile system. The decision reflects Scholz's political sensitivities and an overarching German concern about escalating the conflict with Russia. Ukraine might face hellish April. Military observer on Russia's missile attacks capabilities. Large-scale missile attacks on Ukrainian territory will continue in the coming months, Denis Popovich, Ukrainian military observer, suggested on Radio NV. By now, they have a stockpile of missiles, Popovich said. They made them accumulated when there was no missile strikes for 44 days. Now we are facing the same situation as last year when there was a big break before May and then there was a hellish May. I believe that we will have a hellish April because they stockpiled a lot of missiles. He added that he would be happy to be wrong but notes that once is happenstance, twice is coincidence and the third time it becomes a system. On March the 24th, Russia conducted massive missile strikes on Ukraine. Russians attacked Ukrainian cities with 29 cruise missiles and 29 attack UAVs. Air Defense Forces destroyed 43 targets. Also, one of the Russian cruise missiles that attacked Ukraine flew into Poland for 39 seconds. 19 missiles and 7 attack drones striked Lviv Oblast, where they hit infrastructure facilities. 
In the morning, Russia attacked this facility once again with hypersonic missiles. It is noted that the Russian army fired Kinzhal missiles at a critical infrastructure facility in Lviv Oblast. President Volodymyr Zelensky said that last week Russia used nearly 190 missiles, 140 Shahed drones and 700 guided bomb units against Ukraine. Zelensky stressed that during more than two years of the full-scale war, there has not been a single week in which Russia has refrained from terror. And we are doing our best to make sure that the occupation contingent feels our quite fair response to this terror in the same way every week, every day. I am grateful to all of our heroes who destroy enemy logistics in the occupied territories, those who clear Crimea and the Black Sea of the occupier's presence, this is a difficult task, but our warriors are completing it step by step. Everyone sees that, the president said.